Hello, 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 hello. It's Graham Norton here. We have a fantastic show for you tonight. Uh, we've got stars packed to the gills. That's what it says here, anyway. <laughs> On tonight's show, I will be mainly drinking wine, <laughs> bouncing on the sofa, uh, making noises like this, <laughs> and rushing into the audience like this. <laughs> so let's start the show! I'm just fascinated by you. <laughs> no, because, unfortunately, I don't know many black people. Except in show business. Yes! Except in show business. <laughs> and that's what's so nice. It is. It's lovely. It's exotic. It's really lovely. It's exotic. <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely, Marie. You're right. <laughs> I don't mean to upset you, because I know you do have twins. Yes, yes. I find there's an odd thing about twins. Is that, I mean, have you noticed anything odd about the twins so far? I mean, the communication um, between them. They're just starting to do that odd communication. Yes, I'm very... I, I find it suspicious. <laughs> yes. I mean, I, know that I think they're plotting against us. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's funny, the life did go out of that show. You haven't been watching, oh. but the life went out of it when Jedward left. And you do wonder, what the hell happened to Jedward after they left The X Factor? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, unbelievably, Jedward are here! Please welcome them! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Do we all have our own little section on the chair or something? No, or you just need to be there. You're good. You're good there. You're excellent. Are you all right? You're Sarah, excellent. Sarah, your mom. Our, our mom, your perfume for me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're really cool. Thank you. Oh. We're, we're not going to call you Sarah Jessica Park. We're just going to call you Sarah or SJP. Oh, wh whatever makes you feel comfortable, <laughs> Jedward. <laughs> That's John. Oh, my which one's John? That, the one with the pointy ear. That's what I thought. Yeah, and I, I got like crooked T and he's, I got a scar and he's got a scar. And he, we have to have bar names with so John, 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 John you, Paul. You have a scar too. Oh yeah, I have a scar on my lip. That's right, did you forget? No, no, it's kind of weird. It's really smaller and I like fell off a bike and then I was fine, but then it was when I came up and I hit off the handle. Oh. It was so weird because one time I was walking around doing her and there's all, there's all the kind of stones in the ground and I kind of flipped yeah, on the stones. Yeah, he's always literally. Hey, what's going on? Jam it to ourselves. Okay, sorry. No, don't, don't talk. Okay. No talk. <laughs> okay, no, no. I stepped in the thing and smacked me in the head, and then I was like, ow, and then, then I walked off. And then, and then blood drips started dripping on my head. Okay, this is a bit kind of violent, okay? Yeah, no, it's too so, violent. It's just too violent. Stop it's talking scary. about it. Happy New Year's. Yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, this is uh, John, so nice. and, John and Edward, Jedward. Jedward. They look so nice. They're lovely. They're lovely boys. <laughs> what I love, what I love, because the two of you are so sweet, and you, you go in on the X Factor every week, you smiled, you did your big production numbers. And my God, and it, well, the thing is, look, they're boys with high hair who like jumping around, having a bit of a sing. Oh, and was yeah. that your idea? I know, like, it was kind of weird, because I remember John got a... Sh it's kind of... It only take lots of skills to cut the top, but then you just get a shave to cut the sides, and then the top like got really... I got for, like, eight euros, and then I just kept and shaving we do, the sides. And we, we do lots of running, and then it makes you really aerodynamic trying to get through the wind. Like, cause you know when you're... You know, say, like, you do loads of running, and your hair's blown everywhere, and you're like, oh, that's oh, what everyone says sweaty. about us, but, like, we didn't intend on doing it. <laughs> I was really excited about being Joan. Sex ultimately Joan Rivers. <laughs> Sarah, 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 is this freaking you out about going home to twins? <laughs> I mean, you're like, you'll go home and look at your children and you're like, twins. Twins. <laughs> twins. What, once seemed charming and a yeah. gift. Never let Matthew see the show. <laughs> <laughs> My twins are, are well, um, today they are uh, five and a half months old. Oh! The boys good. asked. I know you weren't interested. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. I do you like having twins. I like it two very much. Two for the price of one. Two, two, you get two, two plus one? Like, you get free. two for the price of one. Like, you don't have to, like, yes. wait until another one grows up and then you get, then get another one. Absolutely. That is some insightful stuff right there. <laughs> That's the best part. <laughs> that is yeah. the best part. Two for the price but of one. one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> An, an, in an alternate universe. Like it's like, what I like about it it's is, is they, they've brought their world on with them. Yes, yes. <laughs> so now 
while we're in it. Yes. Yes. The oh. air feels different. It is. Yes, it's thinner. It's thinner. <laughs> Seriously, you are very sweet boys, and you, you, like I say, you just like jumping around and dancing. Um, and at the beginning, when you actually got onto the top 12, the vitriol, the, the oh, really? bile that was spewed by people, me, uh, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, I mean, did it affect you? I know, I felt that sometimes when you only come out in the audience and there's like people going, boo, they could be going, woo. <laughs> thought it was part of our act at the end of the day. They were kind of like, oh my God, it's John Eddard, let's boo. But like, I felt that <laughs> you have to go out and do it for all our fans who come up to us and ask for their autographs and say, oh my God, I love you guys in the show. You're doing something completely different. So we just wanted to do it for them. And, and you did turn it around yeah. because in the end, then everyone started supporting you and you were in the show for weeks and weeks and weeks. How long, how, how uh, long did you last? There's 10 weeks in the show. And, and we got up to week seven. That's, That's great. Pretty no, great. no, they did really, really well. And there obviously is a fan base. Yes. Very yes. loyal. Now, and mm -hmm. I know. Number one fan. I know, because I'm yes. from Ireland, they're posh oh. Irish. What? Oh, no, we're not no. posh no. Irish. Yes, they are. No way. No way. Don't deny us. No. no. In Dublin, you have it's like, like a Laguna Beach, and it's kind of like, it's like beside the like beach. One of and everyone, and everyone's like, they're all like, yo, what's up? I got my eggs. And they're all like, <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah. and like, oh my God, wait, oh my God. And they're kind of like, they're kind of we're just kind of normal guys. We're kind of like, people are like, well, you're on the X Factor, and we're just kind of walking our dog, and we're like, yeah. You know how people are like, oh, I want to go out with my friends and go clubbing and drinking and smoke? We never do any of that type of thing. We just always just stick together. And then there's like people in our school, and they're like, do you want to go see a movie or something? And we're kind of like, I mean, I like, we always do like loads of running and loads of sports. We're just real focused on what we're doing. Like, How we old still are you? care about people. 18. Uh, just 18. turned 18. Oh, you're 18. Yeah. What, yes. what age do you think we were? I thought 15. Do, yeah, not yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very people have to ask you, your mother, because you're 18 now. Yeah. So, your mother, I have to ask you this. Did she travel extensively around Ireland? No. Travel. <laughs> travel. <laughs> Everyone travels. A lot. Did she ever visit the Cork area? Because here are the two, here are the, oh, the two of you now. There you are. And I just want... It's did, so weird. Did your mother ever mention meeting a, a slightly confused, <laughs> hair gel loving, bright Very shirt normal. wearing person about 18 years ago? Was it you? Who in the morning promised to make toast and never came back? <laughs> <laughs> because I give you this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Babies. They're my babies. <laughs> my children. Yeah. Uh, listen, very quickly, so 2010, what's the plan, Stan? What are Jedward going to do? What are you going to do? I think me and I were just... I feel I'm always talking. <laughs> okay, I just stand Thank here. Same, eh? <laughs> okay, you can tell us what are your plans for 2010? I don't know, we just want to do everything. Like, every, we came into the competition, it was all about music. It was kind of like, oh, what are you doing? And then now, like, everyone's, like, TV presenting movies. But, like, loads of stuff's kind of coming in, offers and kind of stuff, so we're just going to give everything a try and just kind of make like what we did, like make a hit record or something like that. Strike while the iron's hot, yeah, like, do I everything. say. Imagine if we were in a movie, movie with you, Sex City. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I really, honest to God, I just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy 2010. And you absolutely got the right attitude. Kind of cool Try, everything. Try everything. Try <laughs> everything. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, Jed Wood. Thank you so much. Christmas can be quite traumatic for children. And uh, there's a, a book I don't know whether you find this funny or disturbing. I think it depends on whether or not you've got children, right? It's this book. Have you seen this? It's called Scared of Santa, and it's just a whole book of pictures of children who are, well, scared of Santa. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, it's, I mean, how <laughs> scared of Santa. <laughs> Um, I think it's quite funny, but uh, <laughs> look, look at that child. <laughs> look how rubbish the Santa is. <laughs> anyway, we asked people in the audience if they'd any pictures of themselves uh, with Santa, and uh, some people did. So, now this first one, where's Steph? Steph, like that looks quite recent, Steph. <laughs> it was seven years ago. That's seven years ago. Yeah. Was he a nice Santa? Um, I don't think he asked me what I wanted for Christmas, so that was quite disappointing, but... He was probably distracted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, yeah, where... Yeah, can, where... can I ask, where do you get an audience from that happened to walk around with photographs of themselves? 
<laughs> and Samson in the yeah, pocket. So we emailed them. <laughs> These are just in their wallets. <laughs> <laughs> we emailed them and we said to you. Uh, where's uh, Jenna? Where's Jenna? Hello, Jenna. Now, who's this in the picture with you? Uh, my sister. So, you are smiling in this picture, but see if you think there might be some fear <laughs> in their eyes. <laughs> Something dodgy, but Sansa's eyes, though. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like someone's pulling Sansa through the seat, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like he's falling. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this looks just weird. Elizabeth, where's Elizabeth? Oh, Elizabeth, this looks like a scene from a really disturbing film. <laughs> it's like Blair Witch Project, the Christmas special or something. Look at that. <laughs> Santa. Oh! <laughs> this is something when you develop the picture, suddenly Santa was in it. He's <laughs> taking an Easter. <laughs> and uh, Megan, where's Megan? Megan. Now, Megan, this isn't a picture of you. It's a picture of your boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, Chris. So this is there's Chris there, hale and hearty. <laughs> so, uh, how old is Chris in this picture? Uh, four. I, th I don't know. About not. four. So there's Chris now. <laughs> there's Chris. He's not with Santa, but it is. But God knows it couldn't be a more Christmassy picture. <laughs> uh, here's Chris then. Oh! <laughs> no, no. Statue of Limitations on <laughs> social services going round. Are we even allowed to show that? I don't know. I, 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 got I think you should just pass it on to the council. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, all the people. We're, we're showing it through the artistic prowess of two nice Italian men who've flown in specially, and they've made all these dolls of you over the. I know that sounds lame. These are really good. Okay. You don't believe me, do you? No. No. <laughs> Hang on, let me pick a good one. Uh... <laughs> well, these are... No, I'm sorry. These are good. These are good. Where were the guys who made them? Oh, there they are. Hello. What are your names? Hi. 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 Mario. Their names are hi and hi. <laughs> Mario. Gianni. Mario Gianni. Hello. Grazie. Uh, there <laughs> they... De le bombele. <laughs> no? No. No, well, no, whatever. No. <laughs> no, that is good. Look, it's even got your mic pack on and everything. I see. That's the... Is that, that's Vogue, isn't it? Is that Vogue? Sort of. Sort of, sort of. <laughs> oh, look at the music. The music is good. Not bad. That's a thing. Not bad. We're getting there. <laughs> um, uh, good. That, that's, they're good, aren't they? Yeah, she's cute. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no. well, let me see that one. Yeah, which is that one? Yeah. That one, that one. That one. good. The detail, I think, is amazing. You kind of made me look like a Victoria's Secret model. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the kicker. Because um, when we said, oh, we'd like to see your dolls and they were coming specially to the show, they then, specially for us, they made this. This is you at the Venice Film Festival. There you are at the Venice Film Festival. Well, you don't have the glasses, Mario and Gianna. You left oh, yeah. got the sunglasses. Oh, you have them. OK. Look at that. Isn't that good? Wow. <laughs> Do I get to keep any of those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, can they pick one? Uh, the the we, but the other one is the only way to have you at my home. Oh. <laughs> That's, That's adorable. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure now? How this long? is for her. This is for her. Oh, they, oh I see. Yeah, oh, that's, that's why it's in a box. Her. OK, yeah. Thank you so much. That's lovely. Thank you. Aw, there you go. Do, can I have the sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're in a bag. Come on, hurry up. OK. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Oh, look, they're adorable. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Look at oh, these. Oh, put them on, put them on. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look at the, look the, look at the detail, the open and everything. Oh, Misha yeah. would be so proud. Isn't that amazing? That is a really impressive. Fantastic. They're not exactly the shape. <laughs> Dreams. <laughs> but you did tweet some really good pictures of yourself at the Jubilee celebrations. There's you with Will One Is. <laughs> uh, I, love, I love the fact that you've out royaled him with your outfit there as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. who, who is that gentleman? That's Prince William. It oh, come never on, Miriam. <laughs> Prince William. Yes, not the black one. <laughs> no, the black one's you. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't realise that was Prince William. Yes, yeah, Prince William. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but he, he's bald in that picture. No, there was a flash because there was this phone. So a lot of things are getting lost up there in the top. Yeah. Like, you can't really see my top of my head there either. <laughs> As a matter of fact, That's that whole true. entire black area is my afro. <laughs> is, that, is that what happens if, if you don't use enough product? I, just... <laughs> I think this is, this is what happens if he doesn't use enough product. This could happen. <laughs> <laughs> I went up to one of the cats and asked him if I could use his hat. <laughs> that clip gives you some idea of the, the way it's made, because it's all one take, essentially. Right, right. And right. That, that one isn't even that complicated. I mean, some of them are, like, big, long tracking shots. And, da -da -da. and there's, a, there's a scene which is the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> but you actually had to do it. Yes. Where you walk through Times Square just in your underpants. Yes. And yes. presumably, I mean... It really is Times Square, and those are real people. Yes, yes. <laughs> and real underpants. Yeah, <laughs> and really you. <laughs> yeah. In fact, there's no acting involved at no, all. It's no, <laughs> no. They were stunt underpants. <laughs> <laughs> when you were going through Times Square, didn't you, did you meet a Beetlejuice fan? Oh, yeah. This is tremendous. <laughs> what happened was, it was the, I think it was the last shot of the, of the film, and we're shooting, you know, well into the morning, and uh, <clears throat> one of the guys on the crew says, Michael, come here. And says, and there's a guy standing there. Kind of standing there like this, you know, really bored, he, who had been on his way somewhere to his job or home from his job to see his girlfriend or someone or something, do something, I don't know what it was. The guy grabbed him and brought him over. He said, there's a guy standing there, and the crew guy says, show him. He rolls his sleeve up like this <clears throat> on flesh in unbelievably well-detailed and really beautiful tattoo of Beetlejuice. Actually, I just started. Sorry, here. I think we've got a picture. I think somebody took oh, a picture of yeah. it. There's the actual yeah. thing. Look how good that is. Look at that. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's extraordinary. Yeah. And I go, Chew, holy moly, this is extraordinary. I'm looking at it. I'm going, well, I'm asking him all these questions. And he's just standing there looking. And then I finish. And he says, you done? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes like this. He rolls his sleeve down and goes over and gets back up on his bike and keeps on going. <laughs> He never put the two together. He never went, oh my God, there, you know, here you are. Never <laughs> didn't <remember. laughs> uh, I like to think like, you know, three blocks down the curve and go, wait, wait a, a minute. minute. <laughs> <laughs> Because no, you are lovely. You're famous and one of the nicest people in show business. And you're so nice with fans. You, do, you take pictures with fans. There's lots of uh, premieres. Like tonight, was he? Yeah, yeah, tons of pictures. Was tonight. he up and down that red carpet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mark, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was, yeah. yeah. Can we get to Grand Mountain? Yeah. <laughs> Can we yeah, hurry it up? Yeah, yeah. We get it, yeah. Oh, and, well, no, and if you have come up with labor saving photographic devices, I think this was you with the crowd in Miami a couple of weeks ago. Uh, oh, we're yeah. just like, everyone gets a picture! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm out of here! <laughs> so anyway, so we, you, you did that. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. So, you, you take pictures of people. Yes. And what we found out, looking at these pictures of you with your fans, people you've asked for pictures and things, mm -hmm. Will Smith is a practitioner of the phenomenon known as hover hands. Hover hands. So it's that thing when you're posing for a picture with someone, yep. like that, and you do the arm, oh, but yeah, you just yeah, a yeah. little bit the of little, space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of air. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's just a hover hand. A hover hand, yeah. So this, is a, this, is a, this is Will doing hover hands. This is, very, this is classic hover hands. So <laughs> down here, 
classic hover oh, yeah. hand. <laughs> and just that hover hand. Yeah. yeah. But no, because you, it's strangers. You can't just you can't just be touching people, you know. But I had because I had I used to have old styles of taking pictures, you know. I try I, I tried a couple things. I'll show you how I used to. Okay. So so one of my first ones was the the you know when I was young, it was the pelvic lead, you know. So this was how I used to take. <laughs> pictures with all the fans. <laughs> and then I felt like this wasn't, you know, yeah. it's not appropriate, right? No, I feel uncomfortable. You feel uncomfortable, right? <laughs> right? You feel uncomfortable. And I'm the, I'm the fan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, then I switched to the prom. <laughs> oh. That's my Christmas card. Yeah. That's my Christmas card. <laughs> You know, so I just thought of the three hover hands was, yeah, the, hover hands was, the, was the most appropriate. Would you mind doing a mass hover hands? With the a two mass hover hands. Would you, would you be mind doing mass hover hands? Yeah. Yeah. Mass oh, hover okay. hands. Okay, so come down here. Come the down here. Hover hands so, yeah, by the way, you're not in it. You're not in it. No. no, you sat in the front row and now you're not in it. No, no. no. Okay, so everyone stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Okay. Oh, oh you, you got, come down here. Come down here. Okay. So we're around here. We're around here. We're around here. Okay. Step down, step down, I would say. Oh, step, down. step down, step down. So hover, hover, hover. hover. Do we have okay. hands? Okay. Do we have Everyone, hands, hands up and hover. Don't, don't, touch. Hover. don't, don't touch. touch, don't touch. Don't touch. Okay, look in the lens there. Look in the, look lens. In the lens. You ready? You ready? You ready? Yeah. Hover, 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 and <laughs> yay! Well done, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Will Smith and Margot Robbie. Jeez, thank you so much. Thank you so much. She has the perfect singer name. Sure zinger. <laughs> because she's so confident when she zings. <laughs> the way she sang that song was amazing. I'm a sure singer. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, not just the record. Not just the record, not just the single, because someone else is in a West End musical, Nicole Scherzinger. Uh, yes. Uh, when do you start? I've started rehearsals for Cats. I'm reviving Cats. Um, yeah. And well, I've there you are. Look. Last week. Oh, that ratchet picture. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you look really terrible. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid any word with the letter P. Oh my gosh, that's all Jillian talks about is pussy all day on. Pussy. No, no, she's just like, there's one pussy over here, there's another pussy you want to go towards that pussy. I'm serious. And she's like, I need more, I need more proud pussy. If he had a pussy, my search would be over. <laughs> Beautiful. It's beautiful. Do any of them sound like Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's it's awesome. I'm working with Trevor Nunn, Jillian Lynn, who's the original choreographer, and obviously Andrew on it, and it's maze balls. It's crazy. Oh. I'm, I'm like studying cats. I'm allergic to cats, so <laughs> I've never studying them through through plexiglass. Yeah, glasses. so I'm never around them. So I'm actually studying going footage, to study them. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Hey, listen, very quickly before we go, uh, let's uh, take a visit to the red chair. Who uh, who's out there? Hello, hello, hi. Hello. Hello. What's your name, sir? Hadi. Hadi. And uh, where do you live? In West Berkshire. West Berkshire, you say? You fascinate me. And uh, <laughs> what, what do you what do you do there? I work for a property company. Oh, what? Selling property? Uh, uh, renting. Renting property. Short and long let. Interesting. <laughs> uh, so, uh, <laughs> do, do tell us your story. Um, back in 2003, I was in Armenia on a Friday night working out, and I was desperate to find a toilet. I couldn't find, and I was desperate, like, running around like a headless chicken. Yes. And I saw a queue of men entering into a building. I thought there must be one inside the building, so I joined the queue. And I didn't care what they were mumbling about me. After three, four minutes, I got inside the building, and I found myself on a stage in front of audience of 2,000 people who were waiting for opera to start. Yes, I had fellow musician, and the only reason they didn't stop me, because accidentally, I had the same show. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Right. I didn't hear the end of it. I too. I sort of glazed. What did happen at the end? Well, you didn't let us hear. Ah, we finished it. it. The women were like this. <laughs> he finished. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> Ruben. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he does for 
living. I and love then it. it's not long and short term lessing. <laughs> what, what do you do, sir? I do uh, visual effects for television and film. Out of right now, unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the key word there was unemployed. There's a lot of words before unemployed. But what are you going to do about it? That's the question. Well, we, we've given him a job. What are you going to do about it? Okay, okay, off you. I forgot what I'm But off you, not, off you go with your story. Not really a story, but I'm wearing a kilt, so I'm kind of daring you. Oh, to, oh do, do whatever you, you want to. So we just did that. Are you wearing anything under the kilt? Uh, I mean, oh, you'll have to find out. Should we just do this then? Okay, legs akimbo, here we go. Oh, no. I like that. Look at the town with the television. Well, we, we thank him, but we don't know his name. Uh, I believe it was... <laughs> By the way, he didn't even have a story. He was just like, I'm wearing a kilt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick, 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 let's have one more. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, what's your name? I'm Gemma. Y you nearly have to forgot there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. What's my name? Gemma. And uh, are you from the old country, Gemma? I am from Ireland. That's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Not just from Ireland, too. I forget. Sometimes your accent slips. Uh, I know, I know. I'm not that convincing. <laughs> and, and so, what bit of Ireland are you from? North, Ireland? I'm from the north, yeah. Uh, County Antrim. Oh, lovely. And do you live there? Um, well, I actually live here, but I'm from there, yeah. I live <laughs> This is going well, this is going well. No, it's great. We're on it, Gemma. I'm it. from here, but I'm not all there. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, living here, Gemma, do you have a job? I'm a full-time student. Oh, right. Studying? Musical theatre. <gasps> well, now! Oh, now no. oh, we're Whee! sitting up paying attention. Whee! 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 <laughs> uh, Gemma, grab your rabbit, tell your story. Okay, so I was on holidays in New York and I was going up to my room and I got into the lift with, uh, I found myself with these three really ferocious, really built men. So I was like, okay. And so I was standing there patiently like, oh, okay, here we go. And one of them turns and goes, hit the floor. So I immediately was like, oh, hit the floor. And then I like, looked up in like desperation, like, please, is everything okay? And they were like, yeah, yeah, we meant like hit the floor, like the bottom of the elevator. <laughs> We mentioned Wolf of Wall Street earlier. Is the story true about your parents, Marco? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, so when did you tell them the lie? Well, it was shortly before the premiere of the film. I decided to come clean and tell them that I. Yeah, it was. I, I they didn't know I, you had a. No. Whoa. Well, uh, well, then they start. Well, then I. Well, first I started off with there is no. Well, I didn't mention the nudity, and Whoa. then they heard there was nudity. So Whoa. then I said that they CGI'd my head onto someone else's body. body. <laughs> yeah. and then, it's um, like Jurassic Park. Yeah. 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 And, and then eventually I told them it was me. And wow. were they okay with it? Yeah, they took it really well. Okay, because I have a daughter, daughter and you, like, you kind of want to know that before you're in the theater. You yeah. you would think to play the Incredible Hulk you'd have to bulk up but they made you lose weight yes they said uh, I was ready to get a trainer and a nutritionist like all my fellow Avengers and put on a lot of weight and they said no 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 that's not what we have in mind for you we want you to look as small and frail as possible <laughs> so when you bulk up into the Hulk we actually notice a difference <laughs> The Hulk is pretty yeah, big. And he's big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's how hard big, not to how notice. Big, yeah, how big were you? Like, boom, boom. <laughs> not that big. <laughs> not that big. <laughs> but you find it quite easy to, to, to lose the weight. No. <laughs> is it easy losing weight? Well, Ever? Uh, oh. Michael Sheen, how much you lost it in a week? How much did you lose when you were playing Kenneth Williams? When I, when I was getting ready to play Kenneth Williams, I lost 10 pounds in a week. Ooh. 
<laughs> on the and I don't recommend this, but uh, on the cabbage soup diet. Because oh, the gosh. flatulence <laughs> is something awful. I used to ride around on a scooter at the time around London, and I'd be like practicing. Were you powered by life? your I flatulence? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd, have my, I'd have my helmet on, <laughs> and I'd be practicing the, like the voice, and the, I'd be in character as I was running around because no one could hear me. I had my yeah. helmet on, and I'd be like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then I'd be farting, terrible, <laughs> and the smell would be in my helmet. I'd be like, oh! <laughs> Turtleneck? Because <laughs> <laughs> you have to wear like warm clothes, you know, and it comes up to the jacket. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, uh, in the Avengers movie, Incredible Hulk, people loved you as the Incredible Hulk. You were kind of one of the big hits of that thing, now you're back. But when it was announced, People not so keen on Mark Ruffalo being the Incredible Hulk. Not so much. We no. can talk about this now, can't yeah, we? Yeah, it's we all, can. It turned yeah, out well. Sure. At the time, I'm sure it wasn't very nice. I think uh, I did. I went to Comic Con. Oh, the big. And conference. it was a big deal. It yeah. was a top secret. They came and picked me up at my house. I got a call from my agent the night before, saying, "Listen, look out your window at five o'clock in the morning. If there's a car there, you got the part. <gasps> if there's not, just go oh, back to bed." <laughs> Uh, no, it was like down to the wire. It was like the last minute. And, and so I, the, the car was there. Way! <laughs> so I go, uh, they fly me a private jet, fly to San Diego, and um, they, they, all the Avengers come out and they're going to introduce the new cast member, right? <laughs> and Robert Downey, my dear friend, introduces me as, and now reprising the role of the Hulk. Now reprising, of course, means the guy who did it before. <laughs> so they were waiting for Ed Norton. And they went, yes! And he went, Mark Ruffalo! And they went, yeah! What? <laughs> And uh, it didn't go Are so you well sure after that. that. So live in the same building as you, and the car was actually for him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was just. It was what just a mistake. It, yeah, it was just a neighbor leaving for mistake. work. <laughs> <laughs> for me. Yeah. Yeah. I can't get over the. Cr that's mad. That they they're was, very. They're very particular, and, and that is so uh, cruel. Because Amanda, you went. You went to LA to do kind of a big bunch of auditions. Didn't oh you? God, yes. But like high-profile ones. Oh, big. big Really exciting ones, and ones with Quentin Tarantino, and I think I was quite close to Anchorman. Really weird things, but I always remember the funniest thing that my English-American agent said. She's one of those people that talks like that, but she's British. <laughs> and she said, darling, it went really well today. And I was like, oh. She said, the part is 70% not yours. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they speak out there, right? <laughs> Yes. There's no yeses and no no's. So yeah. I was like, well, that's 30%, like, that's crap. <laughs> you clearly haven't got the job. You always, you always get told you're in the mix. Yeah. Like a bag of Haribo. Yes. <laughs> you're in the mix. And now, Michael, you've never let yourself down, have you, at an oh, audition? Many a time have I let myself have you... down. <laughs> an audition? An audition? Oh, an audition. Well, I, I, quite early on, I went, I had a big break where I got to go and uh, have an audition with the head of Paramount Casting. So the whole Paramount mm. studio, wow. the head of casting. Wow. Wow. And at the time, this was many years ago, and um, my daughter was only little then, and she'd had a bit of a stomach bug. And her mother had had a bit of a stomach bug as well. But I was fine. I was fine. So I drove down to Paramount Studio. I'm sitting there in the waiting room, and I'm thinking, oh, I, feel, I might let myself down here. <laughs> and uh, I went in. In you come, Michael, and I'm sitting there, and this is my big break, head of Paramount Casting. And as she's talking to me, I'm thinking in my head, I'm going to throw up any second. <gasps> And I said, I'm going to have to stop you there because I'm going to vomit. <laughs> and at that moment, I projectile vomited <laughs> all over her office. Oh I'm, running, I'm running out of her office into the waiting room, vomiting over everyone. <laughs> there, into the bathroom, all over the bathroom. And I'm cleaning up my own vomit on my knees. Oh. And that was my big break. <laughs> Eating in restaurants abroad is, oh, fraught with danger, ladies and gentlemen, uh -huh. uh, because we found a selection of poor and sometimes, frankly, just essentially lazy 
translations into English on foreign menus. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So imagine we're all in a restaurant together. Yeah. And I turn to Stanley. I said, "What are you going to get?" And Stanley might reply, "Well, I'm going to get the sausage and the father-in-law." <laughs> <laughs> It conjures up. <laughs> it must be some sort of toad in the hole, must yeah. it? Yes. It's what? getting worse. Yeah. It must. Yeah. Yeah. This, this is a. I mean, really. I mean, oh. I don't think it's anybody. Very specific relative, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, really? Really? No. Well, you know. yeah. And I don't think anyone wants this German-type sexual harassment. <laughs> I don't think you can go wrong with a nice place of <laughs> hand shredded ass meat. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, everyone's favourite. Do you want some more? <laughs> Just another handful. <laughs> uh, what do we have next? What wine now, this goes is... with that? Stanley, you know. What wine what? goes with that? <laughs> 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 wine I'm doing a wine pairing menu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a special brunch for the weekend. I might have the fresh salad followed by a variety of opinions. <laughs> I like that. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's lovely. That, you can almost yeah. imagine that on a menu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Under a magic cost, though. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's like Parliament. Is there, is there, they serve in Parliament. But then sometimes people are just a bit lazy. So this one, there's bigger <laughs> menu. Uh, there's some smoked cow feet, <laughs> and then there's just cow something. <laughs> I looked it up. There wasn't there. It's just cow something. I don't know. It's just it's beef, isn't it? Just have it. But that person took a bit of trouble. This next person couldn't be bothered at all. And item number two on the menu. Whatever. <laughs> it's food, isn't it? It's food. Have it. It's only your dinner. You'll eat again. It's whatever. We move oh. on to dessert now, ladies oh and gentlemen. Oh, oh. oh. let's all let's all have a bowl of nuts with scum. <laughs> <laughs> What's nuts with scum? You can get strawberries with scum as well. <laughs> and if you really want to push the boat out, why not have some chocolate puke? <laughs> <laughs> and finally, is there anyone who live who doesn't like sweet tight pussy? 